guys, it's your girl Queen Wolf AJ here, and in this video, I am posting a little interview that Delicate, a fantastic jam ambassador, had with a CEO of Animal Jam, Clark Stacy. So yeah, I just want to be clear that Delicate made this video. Delicate did the interview. Um, she said that I could post this. So please don't attack me. I swear she said that I could use this video. So yeah, this video is the classic video, and I will post the Play Wild one um tomorrow or another day. So without further ado, enjoy Delicate's video. I'm Clark Stacy. I am the uh, CEO of Wildworks, and um, I'm, uh, gosh, what would my relationship to, to Animal Jam be? Uh, benevolent overlord, yeah, maybe. Do, do people have questions about Classic? Really? <laughs> I saw your thread, and it seems like Classic players are, uh, are very active and have a lot that they want to know. Um, well, let me let me cover a couple of things. I think the last time that you and I talked, we talked about some of the difficulties with adding content and classic and just the way it's put together. But very quickly, for those who are, are not familiar, um, uh, you know, classic was a browser based flash game. Uh, flash is no longer supported by browsers and is generally frowned upon by the big tech companies out there. So the only way to continue running Classic on your desktop computer is to put it in this software wrapper called Electron. And Electron basically uh, contains a mini web browser in it and it runs Animal Jam in a contained web browser environment on your computer. Uh, it, it kind of slows some of the performance down. It's not a great solution, but it's, uh, it enables um, us to continue playing it. it. It compounds the difficulty of putting new stuff in Classic because for, for Flash games, the way that we made Classic was we would take 3D models of animals, of characters, and then we would render out 2D animation frames. Um, and the reason that we did that, because Flash is a 2D uh, animation program, but uh, the reason we did that is because we can create this kind of cool 3D look to the characters, um, but then have you know have our software spit out uh, 2D frames. So that means that for every item, thousands upon thousands of items that is in Animal Jam, every hat or scarf or anything else, it has been placed and situated on every animal in the game and frames have been rendered out for the animation of that animal with that scarf in that color uh, for every single item in the game. It means that there are hundreds of thousands of frames of animation and going in adding thing and or changing anything is just a super labor intensive process. Now that's, that's not to say that new content can't be added. I think that more explains the difficulty or challenge in bringing AJ Classic to a new platform like WebGL and you know, recreating it as a, as a browser-based game uh, because essentially all of that work would have to be redone, re-rendered uh, to be optimized for, for that platform. Um, and that's a massive undertaking. Um, now, the, the possibility of us undertaking that massive thing uh, went up considerably when we were acquired by Nazara last uh, was August, September, um, because one of the benefits of being part of the Nazara network is you know, they have uh, tremendous resources with, uh, uh, with animators and artists um, you know, based in India and abroad, and they can bring to bear um, you know, an, an army that we can't. We're a, we're a much smaller company and uh, you know, maintaining just what we're doing is, uh, it kind of keeps our dance card pretty full. Um, so taking, creating an Animal Jam experience that uh, is drawn heavily from Classic may not be a direct port of everything in Classic, but does extend uh, the Classic experience is on the Wildworks roadmap. There is WebGL research that we're doing that's ongoing there. Uh, I have played level demos of Animal Animal Jam, you know, the, what you would recognize as kind of a, you know, Jama Township and some core areas in Animal Jam, running in WebGL and it's awesome. Um, that, that it's still a long, long way away from uh, from a product that, that we could put out. Uh, 
but it is, uh, you know, it's not something that we've taken our eyes off of. We're certainly, you know, our commitment to classic itself has not changed. Um, and I will say that uh, there is something pretty exciting and new coming to classic very soon. Um, I think that it will be a, a, a blast from the past for, for some of our older classic players, but um, but kind of remade for for this generation. And I'm I'm excited for people to to see it and start talking about it. I think it'll be pretty psyched. That's basically everything I know. You now know everything I know. It's perfectly safe. It is not going anywhere. Uh, there's some technical housekeeping that's probably overdue there, and uh, particularly rebuilding the installer, which bugs me every time I look at it. Uh, but no, it, we're, we're not taking it down. It's not going anywhere.